Hello, hello, Spear again with No Man's Sky. You may recognize this lovely place. We're back on our moon. Yulaping Ig... Uh, I think I should just give up on these names because it's getting to be pretty much ridiculous. But, you know, we spent enough time having a lot of fun fighting Sentinels on that other planet. So we came home. And right now I'm just stocking up on carbon and iron. Right near the base. I'm not too far away from the base, I think. I except I keep walking the wrong way. <laughs> I'm going around in circles here. Oh, it's, oh wow! I am far away. Four minutes away from the base. I didn't know I was walk. I was walking that far. But you know, I like to come home, empty up the slots, free some slots in the suit. Uh, I did find a an exosuit, one that we had found before. I put a beak into it, and I, I went and got it. I thought I was closer than this, but all right. So it'll be a another long walk. But let's see where. Ooh. Man, I am getting a lot of, you know, I am getting so much plutonium, I might actually store some in a storage locker. It's crazy. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, so we're fully charged on the multi-tools. We've got that on the ship. That's about what you expect. I might move some of those shields, but. And look at this. We've gone out and we've gotten an extra 750 plutonium. So we're doing good on, on all that stuff. Now what we're going to do when once we get back to the base is we're going to go back uh, pretty much where we came from. Not exactly, but pretty much. We're going to go back to the same system, but go to the planet that we originally planned for before we got sidetracked on that wonderful planet. I, I, I like that place where we were so much. The Sentinels' uh, high security... That was pretty exciting. But I took some damage and one cross down. That's not bad. But it really did, you know, you can only run for so long before they keep attacking and attacking. And you need a break where you can just explore and find new things. All right. Well, this is a long walk. I, I really didn't think I was this far away. You know, you're just going out to get stuff. But you get some plutonium, and then you say, hey, what's that over there? More plutonium, more thamium. And before you know it, you're out in the middle of nowhere. As I am. You know, just like that. You see something like that, you're like, I can't pass that up. So you go to get it. And then you get distracted. But that's fine. I need plutonium. This is what I'm telling, I'm saying this all the time. People who say there's not enough plutonium, you just gotta walk around, you'll find it. But you gotta be a place where you can walk around to find it. If you're on a toxic world with no protection, uh, you're in a world of hurt. <laughs> Literally a world of hurt. But anywhere where you can actually survive. You can survive. I've I probably have the... Yeah, I don't know. I guess it, it depends on, on your level. Anything can kill you. It depends on the extremity of the uh, situation. How extreme... I don't think extremity was used right there. How extreme the situation is. Because I've been on radioactive planets that are barely radioactive. And you're on radioactive... You can be on radioactive planets that are very radioactive and kill you in seconds. So it really depends where you are. I've not really found cold that does that to you. Of course, storms and cold, that, that's a major problem. But other than that, 
All right, a minute to go. As long as I don't fall in a hole like I did on that one planet. We don't need that again. Let's recharge. Ah, oh, so another look at our moon. No animals. With plenty of good stuff. Lots of vines. So we've stocked up with a lot of carbon, a lot of iron. What are the things we always need? Carbon and iron. Carbon and iron, carbon and iron, carbon and iron. See, this is what I, don't, I normally don't show when I'm making videos. Just going out and getting stuff. It's weird not having sentinels all over me. Constantly. There's some nickel... Is that nickel, nickel, and heridium in the distance? Pretty close, which is really great. Because when I need those, they're right there. I don't need them now, but when I do need them, they'll be right there. Here's our base. Very utilitarian. I haven't put any thought into design at all. Just like, okay, I need a place for the farmer. I need a place for the tech. So... Again, you know, that isn't necessary right off the bat. Let's put some of this in storage. Alrighty. I only got three chrysanite. Alright, looks all good, right? Price tonight. Got plenty of zinc here. Look at that. 1600 zinc now in storage. That's just way too much. I don't need all that zinc. But, but I will uh, eventually use it, I imagine. Uh, maybe. Actually, I don't know if I would. That is a lot of, uh, a lot of zinc. All right. So we're ready to go. Let's check out that. Let's check out that. We're ready to go. Zinc is used in a lot of ship tech, I think. And I'm not really working on my ship right now. I'm working on the exosuit. We're up to 39 slots. Umugusu. Umugusu. Oh, I said I wasn't going to pronounce those anymore. Okay, so last time we came here, we were set upon by pirates. I've got a lot of carbon. Hopefully this time we won't be set upon by pirates. That's the plan at least. You ready to go? Ready to go. We've got two more planets to discover. We're done that one. I believe yeah, I might have been mistaken. Is that, yeah, there we go. That's the one. Yep, that's the one we were going after. It's been quite a while by now, but we were going to this one to get for video when pirates attack. We were going to go get some for video. Pirates attacked. The other the other place was what showed up. Because I was I was spun around in circles, and that worked out really well, really well. What do we got? Three hundred and forty-one thousand. That's not bad. That's enough for another exosuit slot. Should we come across a drop pod? Nine more drop pods at about three hundred thousand each. So I need about three million dollars, I guess. Maybe even more. Three million, yeah, probably a little more. But it'll all come to us. There we go. I don't really have much. Are they gonna attack me? Yep. 
Okay. I don't really have much on me. But they're going for the attack. Wow, they really hit me hard. See, this is exactly what happened last time. I got turned around and then... But all right. Where are we at? 23%, so I'll need two shielding sheets. I have best friend of the Gek, and I might be moving up from that as well. Because I've been doing a lot of pirate hunting for the Gek. Another milestone. What are these ships destroyed? What am I, a menace? Threatening? Troublemaker. Troublemaker? I've never attacked anyone. But somehow I'm now labeled a troublemaker. Okay, not really sure that uh, follows, but hey, what are you going to do? I'm going to leave all these shields in here for now. Could really use two more shielding sheets to replace the ones I just got. Never let your shields get low. And I'm... Um, now need a lot more iron. But when you have the chance, make more shields because you've seen it where I, I, I'm attacked multiple times on one trip to a planet. I mean, no. This one looks fair. Doesn't. Okay, got some trees. Got some stuff. Looks like aluminum. So it's not completely barren. I always get worried for a while there because it didn't have a lot shown. But really, always do your shields. You never know when you're going to need them again in an instant. And just using iron or titanium or zinc for shields, that's not very efficient. Not very efficient at all. Okay, what's going on here? Won't be landing here, but let's check it out anyway. Yeah, really nothing to see at all. Alright, so this one does not look as cool as the place we just came from. The place we came from was beautiful, had a lot of stuff, but was a little dangerous. This one is not beautiful. I don't know how much stuff it's going to have. Or how dangerous it would be. Okay, that's just a trade post. Or a trade terminal. Not a post. Ah, I should probably go... No, no, no. Okay. Can't fly the ship down a hole. I'm going to find a collection of buildings. A large, uh, large post. Like something like this. It's not exactly a large post or a collection, but it's a observatory. No complaints about this spot. What kind of planet is this? Huh! Dehydrated, low security, lots of fauna and flora. <coughs> the animals may be angry. Herbivore. The thing is, when nothing's trying to kill you, it, that doesn't sound likely. So when it said low security, I'm thinking, eh, are the animals going to act as security? Those little crab things. Let's check. Oh, it's hot. It's a hot planet and it's nighttime. Okay, so it's dehydrated, so it's going to be very warm. There's only five kinds of animals. I think I might I might be able to 100% this planet. With only five, oh, except it's nighttime and it's toasty hot. That's a little concerning. See, that's why I like the other planet. 
that we were just on. It had high security, but at least you can walk around and not worry about the leather. Here I'm getting attacked every second. Every second I'm outside, I'm being attacked by the weather. Wow, it's quiet. Oh, that's an. I thought that was a plant! Looks like a wasp. I was gonna say it looks like a wasp with legs. All right, how do we get inside? So when the sun comes up, it's gonna be much more toasty. I wonder what temperature it'll get to. We stay out a little bit more. Pick up a little carbon. Thank you. Protection All right, I thought there would be a lot more animals around. I thought it said it was more frequent. Not in variety. I mean, five is fine. But I thought there would just be more numbers of them. So it might be a little bit harder to scan all five. There might be a bird that comes out during the day. Looks like there's a sentinel in, in this building. Trapped somehow in the wall, actually. Not in the building, but in the wall. There's a geck in here. I thought I heard. There he is. Be friendly with him. See, I like the buildings. Look how they, they cool you down. They give you a safe spot. Let's see what Assistant Imneji... Imneji? I don't know. He wants help. It points to itself, opens its arms wide, and beams pleasantly. It pecks at my exosuit. It can help me out. I do not need help with Sentinels. I need help with the condition. What's it going to do for my exosuit? Shield Boost Sigma. <laughs> I need zinc. Don't. Okay. And again, the observatory. Just look at the last one. 8097-0978. No, re no reason to read all the numbers. Just read the last one. It'll tell you exactly what to do. So I don't think I'm going to get Zinc, but I would like the Shield Boost. And I really could have used that the last planet that I was on. Looks like there's a little plutonium off the edge there. Alright, let's uh, pop in a Shield, how about? We've got all these Shields, might as well use them. It's not really hot enough to make it a necessity. Yet. But I might have that problem soon. All right, this isn't the kind of planet you want to be getting iron and carbon on. Shield's already gone. Didn't last that long, did it? Well, that's Sigma for you. I'm only on, on coolant Sigma. There's just nothing really around, is there? No animals moving around. No sentinels moving around. Only the animal I saw earlier.
Okay, so this planet looks a bit boring. Just a bit. Not like the last planet we were on. That was amazing. This one isn't doing it for me. Temperature going to start going up now. As the sun shines. Almost missed these guys. Back to full health. Excellent. So this trip has already been worth it, just to go back to full health. I pay any amount of iron in travel time. For help. Where are those guys going? Alright, so it's getting warmer and warmer, and I'm getting farther and further away from my ship. So this might not be a good plan. We're going to head back. Uh oh. Unhappy Sentinel. Gek word for common. Ooh, that's, that's going to be useful because... Uh, just, uh, just on the last planet, the Gek was talking about does it eat a, a common or uncommon isotope. So knowing the word for common is going to be good. Alright, so I would be using a lot of iron if I didn't have all these shields that I got from all those boxes. There were a lot of, uh, see that tail looks like a wasp or a bee of some type. But from all those uh, goodie boxes last time, I got a lot of shields. I was thinking about going through those two lines to get that platinum, but not really worth it. Whoa. Let's walk around. Whew. Going through the shields. Alright, well, this planet is kind of a bust. It's hot, it's not too exciting. Animals are kind of lazy. But that's alright. I mean, you couldn't expect every planet to be like the last one, and you wouldn't want it that way either. Let's throw plutonium over there. All right, doing good now. Okay, let's recharge that also. So the ship is full. But that's it. Yeah, let's take off. See if we can find some place more interesting. It's a hot, hot day. <coughs> Bad 
this is interesting. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Yeah, I don't think this world is really going to do it for us. Use another shield to get the rest of the words here. Technology Problem with the Sigma, you go through Sigma so fast. Oh well. Let's get these words and get out of here. Gek word for pirate. Ah, seen plenty of those. I should learn the word by now. Multi-tool. I always forget that word in English, so it's good to know it in Gek. And bypass. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it's a landmark. That's what I'm going to tell you. Bevangle. Make you beware. Abomination. Despair. A new, strange new reality grips me. The ancient structure swings open to reveal a body encased in ice. A handwritten sign in the language of the ancient traders can be seen. A flammable isotope would melt the ice. It says, beware, abomination. I do not think I want to melt the ice. Yeah, so let's, let's just leave. I am thanked. Keep the abomination frozen. Instant. I learned the Atlas word for instant. And got a game That was not very exciting, but I wanted to get all three words. My shield's gone again. Jeez. Okay, now I don't have any shields, so I'd have to... I'd have to start building them. And at the rate I would need them, it really wouldn't make sense. Oh, come on! You know, it's one thing if I was running a mod to let me fly low, but... I'm not running a mod, and I'm crashing into everything. Um, even this is not useful. It'll show me where... An, where a, a base is, but do I really need a base? I don't really even need a base. I mean, it would have been interesting. If I find one, I'll go to it. But I'm tempted just to leave now. There's, there's really no reason to stay. There's nothing worthwhile on this planet. There's one more planet out there that I need to discover. But first, we'll take this free money I'm going to be offered. Oh no, and the problem here is they took away the. Uh, you used to be able to get protection from the elements. Under the uh, under the awning here, but they took that away. Whoa! Something's about to crush me. Yeah, thermal protection will continue to fall this whole time. Even if I try to sell these things, it'll continue to fall. Well, I've got no money to buy these ships. Protection 
So no point in even talking to them. I've seen some ships online that look really cool. You can catch them on Reddit and stuff like this. I mean, these huge ships would be awesome. I mean, they, they don't look as cool as the other things, but they're... They would be awesome. See, there used to be a spot right behind here that you could stay and you get protection. But that is gone now. So I'll just have protection long enough to sell some stuff and get out of here. Ah! Not buy, sell. 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 I'm going to buy 15 zinc. I don't remember what I need zinc for, but I remember I needed zinc. And I think it was 15 for that technology I got. I don't remember what technology I got, but... I remember laughing that I didn't have the zinc. It was all back in my face. I think. Oh yeah, it was a shield enhancement. Wasn't it? All right, so we're gonna put a shield enhancement uh, here, I guess. Here? I don't know where. Shield boost signal. There you go. Shield strength plus 0.3. I'm not really sure what that's going to do for me. But I know I want it. Oh, got a power canister. Alright. So, what to do here? Continue looking around. out of here. I'm tempted to just get out of here. Go to another planet. Not interested in our radium. question mark that I don't land on. It's more and more likely that I'm just going to go... Alright, let's get out of here. Drop pod. The Valone Lowland. Platinum, low iron. I already discovered that type of animal. And the exosuit. Love the exosuits. 40 slots now. 270. Eight to go. <sighs> nice, nice, nice. I've done really good on slots lately. I've made a lot of money on that one planet. Unfortunately, I'm no longer on that planet. So that does kind of leave me hanging.
The reason we're picking up iron is because we're about to head out into space. And for some reason, iron is a fuel source for engines. Which I won't quite understand, but you gotta have an open mind in these kinds of games. Who knows what they'll discover in the future. Everything ready to go? Everything is ready to go. See, we gotta recharge the engine here. Last thing you want is to be stalled out on the engine. <sighs> Been using all my shields. Got 900 and what? What have we got? Uh, 875 in iron. That's a lot of iron. Can we get in this cave? If we can get in the cave, that would be nice. Oh, yeah. So we'll get some of this iron. And then we'll take off. But we'll take off next time. This has been a good episode. We've discovered this planet. Owen Zeltroth Omni. Not very exciting, but hey, what are you going to do? This is Spear. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Get more of these videos. See you next time.